Hello, hello. So a, a particular question that I want to answer that I've been getting a lot recently is, Mike, what do I do if signing up new clients isn't an option right now? Okay, I'm going to give you guys seven things you can do. All right, number one, first off, it's double up on content. Um, right now, online consumption is way up. People are sitting at home. The, the CPMs, like the cost to actually reach people, uh, if you're running like social ads and things like that, are way down, so it's actually much less expensive because we've seen a lot of advertisers across the nation just pull out, so anyone in the event space, anyone in sports, um, just businesses across the nation, so you are actually able to reach more people for a lower cost now. Um, that's one reason, but the other reason is actually organic reaches up too, even if you're not putting a paid spend behind it. Um, and most importantly, the content that you put out now this can actually you know, notify your clients, one, whether you're open for business or not, because interestingly enough, as soon as things got bad, it was amazing how many firms just, it seemed like, disappeared off the face of the earth. Like, if you don't see them on social media, you know, perhaps you wonder, are they still in existence? Are they still in business? Um, at the very least, notify your clients that you are still around, that you still are open for business, um, and that you're there to help them and support them. But then you can take that much further. Uh, and I would recommend to start documenting yourself and your firm as you're going through this process. That will help to humanize, but it also keeps your clients in the loop. Um, and the reason why I say this is because people are consuming this content right now. Like I said, they're sitting at home. Um, they're looking for, you know, just ultimately like what's going on. If, if they're an existing client of yours, they want updates. If they're not a client of, uh, of yours, at least you can get into the conversation. Um, as the saying goes, if, uh, if you're not at the table, you're on the menu. So uh, meaning that if either you're out there in front of people where they're spending their time right now, which is on social media, on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, or if you're absent from that conversation, then perhaps either another business is a part of it or all they're seeing is just you know news outlets talking about how bad things are with the coronavirus. Uh, number two, start that newsletter. You've always wanted to start. Uh, and in fact, now is actually potentially a less expensive time because um, you may not even have to mail a print newsletter. You can actually do a virtual one. Um, you can do one just online and digital and, and syndicate it that way, whether it's through email or social to your clients. Um, that's certainly something we recommend. Number three, start a podcast. So you can actually interview uh, experts in your industry on what they're doing to survive right now. This is something that a lot of people are interested in. Um, you can include referring attorneys. You can build a network of referral partners and really instill community. So this is a great time to start a podcast. Number four, uh, I strongly recommend reach out to at least 10 of your best clients and ask them to send you a 30-second testimonial. They can record it on their phone. They can shoot it over to you. And this becomes content that you can use and share um, to assist with social proof. You can put a positive message out there. Number five, okay, this one is write that book you've always wanted to write. This is a great time. If you've been putting off a project like this one, I think there's few things that you can do that can establish you as a credible expert and authority in your area of practice. Um, so writing a book is something that if you've been putting it off a long time and you have more free time now, uh, this will be something that you'll look back on later and probably wish you did it sooner. Uh, if, if you want to work at the company, uh, I can give a shout out to the people at Scribe Media. Um, uh, S-C-R-I-B-E, um, great company and a great team, uh, and they can help you uh, writing a book as well. Number six, and this is another one, uh, improve your business from the inside. So if you're not signing up new clients, at the very least, make, you know, make your house better. So meaning that you can start auditing your intake, listening to past calls, audit your processes. Um, I've heard from many firm owners that they've had opportunities to make processes better within their business. They've created new workflows in their case management software. They've improved efficiencies. And this allows you to come out a better business on the other side because we will get through this. And at least now you can be working on making things better um, that perhaps you would have either put off for a very long time or never have even done but at the very least control what you can control and that's making your business better now. Uh, and then finally, number seven, you know, man, I'll tell you, finally, finally, go and figure out social. Okay, so whatever the platform is, um, you know, if, if you're uh, you're always asking questions on, well, social media, I don't quite understand it. Um, if you don't understand a platform, whether it's Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn or TikTok, um, now is a really, really great time uh, to just get on one of those platforms, create some original content, and start building an audience. Okay, you could just start learning it and using it. Um, it again, people are consuming more content really than they ever have. Um, and if you're running paid ads and social ads, as I'm sure you've seen many of ours, um, it's, it's ultimately probably one of the most cost-effective times um, to reach a lot of people. So get yourself in that conversation and remember, you know, how do you want to come out on the other end of this? Um, one of the single best things that you can do if signing new clients isn't an option, or even if it is, is building your brand. And there's nothing, and I, and I mean this truthfully, nothing that pays long-term dividends 
like building a brand that's strong and credible and trustworthy and supportive in your market. Okay, this is something that will help you through the test of time because a lot of the short term drivers like direct leads, uh, PPC, things like that, you know, perhaps that's limited now because, you know, if, if everybody's confined in their residence and, you know, you've got shelter at home and things like that, well, what do you do? Well, perhaps you focus on the things that really sell your firm today when you're putting out great content, when you're not making an ask, when you're just creating value for your audience and your community and your clients and so on that you can collect on that later because you're going to build a lot of trust and good faith and support, um, especially at a time where that's exactly what people are looking for. So I'd love to hear some of the things that you're doing right now in your firm. Um, text me at 404-531-7691. Thanks, guys.